wake up from that nasty dream Ooh. to another nightmare. A hue. Everyone comes to consciousness, breaking the early morning hours. What do you wish to do? I'll make breakfast and tea quietly. Still check. Oh, fuck. I think he's right by the fire. Natural 18. 24. Hold a perception check at disadvantage, as, as you do whenever you're asleep, to see if you wake up. Natural 20 to 10. <laughs> oh, you rolled at disadvantage? <laughs> I'm stealthy enough. That stealthy stealthy enough. Him. There are a few times as you're cracking the fire. It's <laughs> at this loud pop. That's not my he stirs fault. and pulls and pulls his cloak closer over over top of him. I'll make something I don't know hangoverish, you know, like greasy and delicious that'll help. <laughs> something Nora's probably gonna hate. Hangover. Do you have anything greasy? I don't know. I don't well, know. Just got supplies. I mean, I just got supplies. I don't. I don't know. Like something. Like I'll take the lamb meat that I had and try to find like the like the one this part that's like got the most fat on it. Get the most grease. I don't know how much fat is on lamb, I but I don't really think there's that much fat, but I think so. maybe I got but... a chunky one. <laughs> it is a lamb. It is a lamb. Oh. I love the sheep. And now we're eating it. Prancy little baby. So tender and juicy. Oh, yeah, do a little spicing and a little, do nothing strong and then some like really strong peppermint tea, like a little bit stronger than usual. Not like <laughs> overwhelming, but like. Maybe. The smells, the aromas waft over the morning air and do wake up one of the two boys. Wyatt does manage to push himself up grabbing at his head, squinting at the sun's light. I'll, uh... Look at you. I have a question, actually. So I know we said that prestidigitation I could warm things up with to a degree. Mm -hmm. Can I cool things down with it as well? Probably a little, yeah. Can I also, like, get, like, a really cold, like, like, get, like, a, like a glass or something, make it, like, really cold, and then, like, Dunk like a rag in it and give it to him. Put on his head for his headache because I know he's gonna. Have it, it probably could. It probably couldn't be ice cold. I mean, just cooler than just like, like you, temperature. Just like you can't like make boiling water with prestidigitation. Um, so it would be it would be colder. Yeah, it's not it'd like refreshing. Room temperature. It'd be refreshing cold. Yeah, it's cold yeah. as I could get it. Mm -hmm. You dip the rag in it. Give it to him. This magic thing is pretty cool. Mm. Ah. Thanks. And then I'll just go back to finishing up breakfast. And then I'll just pass it out to whoever's awake. Staggers to his feet, goes over to Jacob and just kicks kicks his boot. Not hard, not harshly, but just enough to make his leg reflex. Jacob uh, roll over under the blanket. Here, get up. Who's older? Who looks older? Like, who acts more like the older brother? Because I feel like Jacob does, but at the same time, I'm like, why it's more mature. So, like, it's hard to tell. Just, like, feature-wise, who looks older? Feature-wise, it's... You can try and do an investigation at a distance. It's a 16. Shit. Investigation? Squinting at the computers. To see who's older? Yeah, just, like, maybe just... I mean, there's got to, Somebody's got to look a little... Like everybody looks a little bit, you know, shows their age in some ways. They're hard to read. Hard to tell. Yeah. How old are we? How old are you? Mark your 
which is um, uh, about 19. So 20. Oh, yeah. Almost 19, I think. Almost 19. Oh, like 20. Do they look about our age, or do they look, like, older? They look a little bit older. I mean, they look a little bit older than you guys, but... And then how old... Did we ever determine how old Zoom was? I'm just curious, because I can't remember. A little bit older. About the same age range as Jacob. As, okay. Because so we have true. mentioned it. Because I thought he was a lot younger, and then... Yeah, like, and then oh, it was like... like no, he's not. Oh, oh he's older. He's <laughs> They were like, oh, you're little baby Zoom. And, oh, no, 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 you're not baby Zoom. You're man Zoom. Man, okay. Man Zoom. Man Zoom. Man okay, Zoom. copy, copy, man Zoom. Man Zoom. Not boy Zoom. Oh, not yeah. boy Zoom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think we did determine he was older than I was like, yeah. I just can't remember. And I was going to say to Wyatt, um... Uh, hang on, I have it in my head. Um, I'm surprised you can walk. I wouldn't be able to move, let alone stand up with how much you had last night. She does not handle her liquor very well. She does not. She does not. Years of practice. Mm. And still throw straight. Takes his dagger, aims it at a tree. <laughs> Aid first, it sticks into the tree. Thanks. I should have thrown both of my knives since I didn't know which one I was gonna hit, but figure just one would be enough. Walks over to the tree, grabs it, yanks it out. As he turns, you can just see this very faint upturn. Shoves the knife into his sheath, goes back to the fire, and just slumps down, absorbing the fire. Okay. I guess while everybody's eating, I'll start packing things or other things up. Or well, second, Jen, are they still up there? Sure, go ahead. Jen is currently in the process of growing and weaving together these small bundles. She flutters over and sets it down near Wyatt and says, chew, chew on it. It will um, help with the hangover. Do I recognize what she's giving him? It's already bundled up. Damn. Have to, you'd have to ask her about it. He... Thanks. As she flies away, like, chewing on it. What was that? What was that? Listen to that. I want to know. Do you? Yeah. I want to know what was my tea. That's okay. <laughs> 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 That was really wrong. I'm gonna go pack up now. <laughs> so bad. She gives she gives you this look. <laughs> Did tell Elle here? Oh, he didn't hear. Thank goodness. <laughs> he flies over to Jacob, gives him one. Flies back over to Zoom, who who didn't have any, but still takes it gratefully. Goes over to you, Nora. <laughs> At the very least, it's something nice. Thank you. Sits it in front. I'll take it and I'll smell it. I'll smell it. It's, it's more crisp and fresh. It's vibrant. Vibrant with smell. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thunders over to yours and she sets it down. Go on. Tell me what's in it. <laughs> I start peeling it apart trying to see if I know what it is. <laughs> Go ahead and make your nature check. Oh, natural 18! <laughs> Plus 3! 21! You have no idea. What? You've never smelled spices like this before. You've never smelled herbs like this before. I'm going to take note. Nora, you can make a nature check. What that smell shit? Ah. Ten. And you do recognize the smell, but the name escapes you. It's me. That's bullshit. <laughs> Backstories are important. I'm going to sketch out. I'm not even going to eat this. I'm going to put it in my pocket for later. I'm going to sketch out every detail. I'm going to, like, put it down on my pee. I'm sketching out so that I can find it one day. 
Well, it's a bundle of herbs. Yeah, she she tied it she tied it up so that the leaves all folded and pinched at the top. I will unfold every single one of those leaves. I don't care what it takes. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I put it into my bag of I put it into my bag of holding. I'm gonna take my journal out. Put it into my journal. Into the bag. I will find out what this is, with or without you. <laughs> I need no help. Usually everyone gets up as breakfast. They, they thank you. Zoom actually helps load up various items into the cart, onto the horses, saddling. I made a perception you check. It was 25 know. for yonder folks. Still over there. Okay. I totally forgot about that when you said herbs. It just went psh. No, they're still over there. What you can tell. I'll start tracking up then, and we'll head east to. Oh man, I keep meaning to get a pen and then not. I'm gonna need to copy your notes later. <laughs> hey man, can I copy off your paper? I'm going to Elrin. Elrin. Uh, First, you have to make it to Merlay. Merlay. I'll take notes from here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uses none of the pens. None of the pens. To Arlay? Arlay. Mur Murlay. M U R. We have to go to Murlay first. And then we have to go to R. Al. Alrin? Al. How did you say it? Alrin. Alrin. A L R Y N E. We'll take off then with the cart and everything, I, I suppose. Well, that's kind of a good cover that we're just trying to merge in, so let's go. <laughs> you guys move back up onto the road. See that they're doing some stretches. You smile and a nod. How many? So you take off down the road. Is it all eight? Hmm? Is it all eight of them? They do group calisthenics in the morning. Oh, you bet. In sync. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. See, we have breakfast. You have to exercise. <laughs> See, we're you better. Just, you should just do the You just join us. <laughs> Didn't do <laughs> that. That is canon. That is canon. Like a sports team. <laughs> this is nonsense. <laughs> We'll all start on the road. Go ahead and make a perception check as you guys head out. I'm not being followed at the moment. 23. 23. 23. 23. Nice. And there are all eight of them over there? Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, all eight of them. You we'll all begin your journey. And for the entire day, nothing out of the ordinary happens. The cart threatens once again to have all of the shelves pull out from their various hinges and bolts and drop all of the wine on the inside. However, both Jacob and Wyatt are able to once again salvage, although they abandon their horses, hoping they will stay on the road. I'll keep an eye on the horses. Simple enough. It's midday. You all stretch to your left, stretch to your right. Be out into the field. Doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Are Press they on. Us, I assume. Mm, glance back. Yeah. Much farther down the road, very faintly in the distance. We'll make camp for that evening. General, uh, general perception check. As I assume that you all are taking watch. Yes. Twenty-five. 
Twelve. Twelve, nice. Nothing for exciting or eventful happens during your all's watch. And for the relative sake of brevity, in the next few days, nothing happens. Well, it's kind of nice when you yeah. can actually know the people who are following you. Like, I mean, it's nice just to know. Yeah. Sorry. Generally speaking, at least this time you know. You know where they're headed, they know what they're after. What could possibly go wrong? See Taliban covering her face. <laughs> Next few days also go on without incident. Oh, so I guess we just roll right through Old Townie. I'm gonna say I stop and like gather a you know a couple. Mm -hmm. If you all want, uh, you can actually stay here for an evening, or you can uh, go right through. However, you arrive right here in the afternoon. We need to keep going. Um, yeah, like late afternoon. Some. Would, would you all could probably get another four or five hours of travel before needing to make camp. Or you can stay here for the night. I'm just going to gather a few supplies, horses and such, and then, um, and that's it. Awesome. Uh, all in all, the entirety of it only costs probably 13 silver. One gold is silver, right? One gold is 10, ten silver. silver. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't okay. Know, I don't know where they're coming from. Yeah, I don't either. It's weird. Yeah. It's just random mods that just everywhere. Fly in like. Where'd you come from? <laughs> I don't know how they're getting in. Alright, sorry. Yeah. I thought that more, more Merlay. Shit. Thinking of Merlot. I'm thinking about alcohol. <laughs> Merlot. You all go through Merlot, you see um, a few tinkering shops, various people messing with uh, pieces of metal, twisting, burning, shocking them. You see that there are a few various taverns, inns to stay in. You also see that there is a, an, a medicinal herb shop. You all roll right by. Any spell shops, places that might have health potions. Because I don't have any health potions and I feel like we might need them. Do you uh, go ahead. I Go ahead and make a perception check. Your eyes keep open. Perception 26. 26? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like anybody here is in enchanting, alchemy, and so forth. Do you see a few, like I said, tinkerers who are currently working with um, various pieces of metal? But unfortunately, that's all. You could possibly go into the Caducatorium. Is that the, yeah. the, herb, the herb shoppy? Yeah. Okay. You could probably go in there and, and pick up a couple of herbs, which may or may not be of some kind of assistance. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay, you go in. See this elven woman, hair pulled back, uh, slightly dreaded. Near, near to the ends. It looks like she hasn't been out in a while, and the tips of her hair are this very faint mossy green, which go up into a, a, a darker moss. She turns around. I help you. I'm just, um, I'm looking for any, any kind of herbs that, um, healing properties of any sort. Is these dark green eyes. Certainly. A moment. Goes over to various pots. 
Many of them look essentially like large, various sizes of mason jars. Some of them are large, some of them are small, some of them are hanging, some of them look like they've fallen off the shelves, but she hasn't been, she hasn't bothered in taking them up or cleaning it. And she goes over and plucks a few right near the root, goes over, picks a few more, a few more, dips them into a bucket, wraps them up in this towel, goes back. Here you are. It's empty. you. Does she have any like bandage type materials, like like any kind of like ma- anything that would like staunch bleeding of any kind? Because I don't have um, a lot of moss left, and I don't have a lot of bandage. I only have like a little bit of bandages and a little bit of moss left. Make another perception check. In the interior. The interior itself almost looks like a greenhouse. It's just as humid as one. 24. 24? Unfortunately, no. There's nothing that could service as bandage material. They, There is some moss, but it's not the kind that was indicated to you to be useful for such things. Okay. How much do I owe her? For silver should suffice. I shall give her four silver. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Head up. You're gathering up various supplies. And do, you, do you get, I guess, dried goods, normal goods? Things that you can bake with, cook with? Yes, yes, yes. All right. She gave us those five sigils, right? You said that, right? Uh, hang on, say that again? Those sigils that she promised us that would keep us per- safe from her kind of people. She gave Oh, us yeah, the, she, it's the coin. It's her, it's her personal coin. Something that as long as you have it on your person, any one of the eleven spires will be familiar with it and not bother you. The coin that she gave us. I'm just going to put um, in my treasure Demia Keen Seeker coin. If that's okay. No, 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 no. Sure. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, stop. Stop. Halt. No, oh, no. You can't make me. Demia Keen Seeker. Okay. And then we will continue on our merry way. We'll continue on your merry way indeed. Going one place to the next. Make camp, everything up. Notice that individuals are still indeed keeping track of you. Setting up camp across the road or nearby. Just kind of glanced over. Do do Elred and or Jaren ever like glance over? Um, you are a bit far away. You can make a perception check. <laughs> Michiko, go. She... Yes. It right, take her uh, all night to get over there. I know exactly. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. At this distance, it's difficult to tell, but it does seem like. Two smaller individuals compared to the group are off to the side, away from the others. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm glad at least he got his sister back. Even if it was our group. Anyway, it's fine. We're, we're good. We keep going. Your perception for the evening? Oh! Oh, no! a bit preoccupied. Fifteen. Okay. No. Rest of the evening, nothing transpires. Then your final day of travel, go for the morning, for the afternoon, and you can see already 
or uh, Orion. Now, Orion itself is a heftily built city. There are very nice walls on the outside made of this grayish stone put together very well. Unlike the other cities and towns that you've happened to saunter into, there's no strange tar that is keeping these stones together. There are no gnashing of teeth. There are no roars and coliseums. You approach, it opens, and you are greeted by the guards. At this point, make a perception check. Uh, really quick. So this is the second day of traveling, so this would be like day 68, basically. Like at the end of the day, or like what about what time did we get there? Yeah, it's at the end of the day. Perception? 21. 24. 21 and 24. As soon as you enter, the guards dressed in chain mail... Uh, Some of them have on plate armor who are standing uh, up on the lofts. The band, uh, not the banisters. (laughs) I guess that's that's the wrong thing. Up along the bridges. Just keeping watch. Some of them pacing. Some of them hold spears. Many of them have various elements of armor, heavier armor, on their frames. Now halt! Stage your business. You all pull everything in. The gates close behind you. We're just traveling east with um, different wares. Kind of wares. Goes through and begins poking around in the back. Just wine and a good time. Oh god, I said that way wrong, didn't I? Fuck. (laughs) Oh, that was terrible. Oh well. I said it. Whatever. It's fine. Talbot immediately smacks the fuck out of herself mentally, but it's fine. <laughs> she realizes how that sounded and just is like, God, I'm such an idiot. I put my well, foot in my mouth all the time. That's sucking on my boot. Is it cute? It's paper pastime. Just objectively, is the skirt particularly cute? Yeah, I'd say so. I don't notice. I didn't, didn't look. I don't care. Yes, you do. Yeah, he's slight, it's slightly blonde, um, and he has these kind of pale, pale greenish eyes. Um, wearing chain mail, square-ish jaw. Okay. He looks around the corner. Ducks back inside of the cart. Oh dear God. Hops down. <laughs> Fortunately, there's been a little bit of a interesting set of circumstances um, occurring here in the city. What kind of circumstances? Huh. Try not to wander around at night. Really? A bit sp- Are we in danger here? I certainly hope not seems that a few individuals who are out past curfew uh, don't see the sun's rise. Like they disappear or they're dead? The latter. Cool, cool, cool. One of the guards, a a woman, comes over and smacks him in the back of the head. Ow! (laughs) Welcome to the city. He shoved him over and is like, what are you trying to do? And he's like, I'm trying to make conversation. She said they were here for good times. She was looking for someone to walk her home. There, there, friend. I can't believe I look like I need to be walked home. You don't. (gasps) You don't. It's okay. It's not my fault that these things just so happen. I just kind of like deadpan him. I'm like, <sighs> and then even Jacob looks over and he's like, "Wine and a good time." And I kind of just nonchalantly flick him off. What was that? I I couldn't see in that mess of hair of yours. 
need better clarification. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't do that. I'm <laughs> sorry. Will do. <laughs> and <laughs> the cobblestone streets lead forward for the most part and then branch off into these arcing spirals. Is, or not spirals, uh, the semicircles that weave in and out of different seeming neighborhoods, areas, and districts. Yeah. Okay, so we should probably look around and see people are dressed in, some of them are dressed in leather work, some of them are dressed as in <laughs> dresses. Dressed in dresses. Dressed some of them are wearing skirts, which have been pinned up. Some of them are doing uh, laundry. Some of them are currently scraping away at various things on the walls that have gathered over time. Uh, you see, some guys are currently beating out rugs. Trying to make uh, some, some kind of activity, some kind of game of it. Rug beat. Rug beat. <laughs> rug beat. This is the original, the OC rug beat. <laughs> <laughs> so, inside check, was he telling the truth or was he just fucking trying to get me to, trying to get, trying to like walk me home? I mean, inside check, as you think Fuck. about it. Fuck. He was trying to walk me home. Tane. Yeah, hard one to read. That's okay. Okay, can I inside check the people around me? Like, do they look worried? Like, or is everybody pretty like, ooh, it's just an everyday hanging out? An inside check. I just like a feel of the town. Every day hanging out. Um, 19. 19. There's some individuals who are genuinely enjoying the day. Most of them younger. Some of the older individuals, however, keeping a wary eye. Looking down the streets as they sit on their porches and smoke their pipes. I guess we will find a tavern. To sleep in. Probably. A good idea. Um, so as, we're, as we're looking for a tavern, I'm also going to look for an infirmary. I'm sorry, what? Like a jail. Infirmary and jail are very different, my fam. Are you sure? Infirmary? That sounds like, isn't that like a medical place to seek medical that, assistance? I thought it was a... An infirmary? No, you mean no. like a... Like a Infirmary. infirmary is like medical assistance, isn't it? It's medical. Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> she is not looking for an infirmary. No. She's uh, looking for. She's probably uh, like. Um, there was another word that's similar to it. Um. Some kind of jail. I'll, I'll just be simple. Some kind of jail. I mean, there's. Uh, stronghold. No, not stronghold. I don't know. Imprisonment, prison. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, some kind of jail looking yeah, place. Just jail. Yeah. Like yeah. maybe, like maybe we're like guard stay jail type ish. Incarcerated. That's the incarceration. Of. Yeah. Okay. Like a yeah, detention. Yeah. Incarcerated. Not infirmary. Not I was like infir. I'm like I'm a cleric. What do you mean infirmary for? Well, I can also enchant things. Why do you go buy things that are enchanted? Because it takes oh. weeks and weeks, and I can just buy it, and it's already done. Um, Was it spelling you would have done your armor? <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. Um, yeah, so just double, like, killing two birds with one stone, looking for one, looking for the other. I'll look for a place to stay. She can look for a GG jail. Okay, perception checks, both of you. That's a call. That was actually really good, so that sucks. 11. That's a 21. Love and Nora, you're having a little bit of a hard time looking through all of these different areas. Some of the signs are written in elegant scrawling, which, for the life of you, does not look like any writing you've ever seen in your entire life. And you would know. You've got the uh, the eyes, yes, the yes. special eyes that help you read. And for the life of you, it occurs to you after this this effect doesn't kick in, just there to look pretty. <laughs> Probably whoever wrote the sign didn't know how to write in the first place and just made it look really pretty. Oh, that's 
fucking hilarious. You end up seeing uh, three different places, and you hear about a fourth, but walking by, you think better of it. Copy. <laughs> It, it used to have a nice, elegant name, but now they just call it The Stab. Hmm. I like it. The places that are currently available to you are the Hooded Dragon's Eye, the Platinum Flagon, and the Topaz Wand. Hooded One of these days, I'm just going dragon? to send you all of the documents. Hooded what huh? dragon? Hooded Drag the hooded dragon's eye. Dragon. Apostrophe S, like a pos possessive. And then what was the second one? Platinum flagon. And then I got the topaz wand. Mm -hmm. And you said you were about to say something, and I interrupted you for, per usual. Oh, there's um, a fourth place, but yeah, you said it was I just a stab. A stab. And you, I feel like I might be intelligent enough to stay away from there. I don't know. Sometimes it'd be pretty stupid. Sounds like a maybe good this time. time I won't. Sounds like Push an intelligence saving throw okay, waiting to happen. I would have failed. That was a natural one. <laughs> Sounds like a great place. Nice and cheap for me. Oh. Go for the stab. On your way, you pass by uh, several booths. One of them is selling various talismans, which are odd. They have some of them have bones and teeth on various places, earrings, spinning devices that almost look like a dream catcher. These woven circles, uh, just with this twine darting in and out, weaving this relatively intricate and yet confusing design. Wait. There's also. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Mm, I like the idea of. I like platinum. Well, no. I mean, platinum flag, and that could be good for Wyatt and Jacob. Sounds like a drinking kind of place. You know what I mean? But, oh, that could also be like a total like hooker bar, though. The topaz wand. Yeah, I think we'll go with topaz wand. That sounds nice. It sounds friendly. <laughs> it sounds magical. Guys, I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> no, you're a hairy wizard. No! <gasps> Sorry. Maybe I don't want to go to there. You are here instead. Coming out a nightmare. Coming in nightmares. Coming in nightmares. Okay. Do we see any of the these places? Like, I just want to get like a visual on them, maybe. You do. You you pass by some of these places, and as you hear about one, you peek at the next. You peek at the next. Um, which one do you want to hear about first? Do you actually go in, or do you just look at the outside? Just look at the outside. Like, oh. Looking at the outside, the platinum flagon looks highly sophisticated. All of the buildings are, are made of stone and wood elements. This right here is made of what looks like a... Um, a polished white granite. What about the hooded dra hooded dragons? Well, I wanted to try to pick the one that looks like the most low key. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, that'll be Probably the hooded dragon's eye. Breaking people out of prison. That's true. The hooded dragon's eye. You walk by there, and it appears like many of the other buildings. However, there are shutters over the windows. Um, it is about four stories tall. None of the windows are open. There's just this very faint bit of smoke just wafting from the top floor. Huh. Interesting. Is it scented? 
does it smell like? Cigarette smoke or pipe smoke? It smells like pipe smoke, but something else that as soon as you inhale, a constitution saving throw. Help me. Oh, 17. 10 to 20. 10 to 20 and... Looks like Eleven. Laura can't hold her liquor, but she knows how to smoke. Remember that last time I went into that room and I walked in and it was a natural actually, one and I was like... Actually, yeah. <laughs> you're great with smoke. You're not great. I'm not... I don't do good with smoke. In real life, not. too. So, yeah, natural one. It'll only be close oh. So, yeah. Everybody else manages to pull through, but Talavin, as you inhale, you... <laughs> you are immediately winded. You, you feel your vision... Like you're buzzed, but instead of a, a normal buzz where you're you're you've got that warm fuzzy feeling, you just feel nauseous. This strange nausea that just settles right at the top of your diaphragm that as you. Like, <gasps> like, Talvin, you have those herbs in your book. Nope, it's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I'm just like holding my breath. I'm just like. Another constitution saving throw as your vision spins. Oh, it's got ten. Ten. <sighs> Jacob steps up, guides you away, about twenty feet, additional feet away. And you guys aren't next to the building, by the way. You guys are about thirty or so feet from the building and are smelling this. Guides you away. 20 feet as you push in your fills your lungs and you the feeling subsides. As you glance up, so you kind of see why you why it was uh, named after a dragon. Top shutters will look like the nostrils of one of the flying wyverns of old. Let's 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 go to the Topaz Wand. That sounds like our best bet. We're right. not staying there. <laughs> this particular place. <laughs> you all feel free. I mean, feel free to stay wherever nope. you guys want. No, I no. Topaz Wand. What is what is it like? You all go to the Topaz Wand and see these. They're not the best chandeliers. They're, they're handheld, or so, with these little candelabras that branch off. Although, instead of crystals hanging from them, they are fragments of unpolished topaz. There are just two of them hanging, uh, just on either side of the door. This is a uh, four-story building. You approach, it appears like any of the others made of stone and wood. Windows, however, are not shuttered. Just propped open slightly. Uh, some of the top floors are shuttered. One of them looks like it's moving vigorously. But you do not smell anything strange coming from this particular building. You go up and you peer inside and the it's reminiscent of a place that you were in, Brackle White, where Two floors up, you can actually see that there is this open area in the center. There are stairs on your left and your right going up to the second floor landing. There's just a way that you can look down from the second floor into the main floor before going up to the other residential areas on the third and fourth floor. And you can already see there's an area that heads down into some sort of basement. This relatively open concept area, you can see that they're actually cooking out in front of everyone. That there are these cauldrons and skillets just mixing and turning, folding, flipping food. Uh, you can see that uh, at the very front, actually to the left-hand side, right before you see the stairs going up, is uh, a young man who has a, a topaz earring. You can see that there are a few of the other workers who also have some kind of dangling topaz earring. 
um, youthful in his face, probably looks late adolescence or so. So, Ella, oh, uh, can I help you? Uh, yes, we would uh, like a room for... Uh, for, for four nights. Four nights? Uh, for now. Um, let's see, we'll need... Two, two or, two or three, two. We'll need two rooms. Two. One for four nights, one and then we have horses as well. Do room for f four nights, uh, all right. Ends writing down. Uh, may I ask what your uh, business here is here? Uh, taking a peek around the town, or uh, yeah, just yeah. traveling about, selling stuff, wine. Right, we sell oh, wine. Right. We sell wine. I'm sorry. We've been traveling for a few days. We're a little bit tired. That's all right. Um, as a courtesy, we can uh, have some set up to your room for our first night. Uh, yes, that would that would be lovely. All right. Uh, and, and anything in uh, particular? We're we've got ourselves a couple slabs of beef actually uh, tonight. That sounds that sounds perfect. There's uh, this other thing. I'm not really sure what what it is. They they didn't send for it. I'm not in charge of booking. Uh, it's this bristly on top, and it comes on a base. It's green. It's got a stalk, and it kind of comes out. It looks like a little tree, although I was told it wasn't a tree. You see. Um. And anyway, they say that goes with it, sounds, along with a pit, uh, potato. That sounds fine. I'm braver than I am. I uh, I do have a, a question. Um, as we were coming I, in, one of the guards, really? one of the guards mentioned that uh, people wandering around after after dark aren't making it back to their homes. Oh, <laughs> well, there's uh, certainly been a couple of rumors been scuttling about. Um, haven't really heard much myself. You see. Uh, I'm, uh, my brother's on the uh, force, you see. Helps patrol the areas. And, uh, evidently, there have been some rather strange goings on in the evenings. Later in the later in the night, that is. Although they, uh, not sure how it's happening. Do Do you know what is happening? Like, what is is it magic or? People are getting killed. How? 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 Yeah, I don't really know. How did they die? <laughs> Do you know how they're dying? Well, uh, between you and me, I, I don't really know a thing, but, uh... Um, <clears throat> your total is, uh, for two, two rooms for four nights, it's gonna be, uh... 35 gold total. Inside that includes the uh, state. Yeah, inside check. Does he, is he... Zeno. He, he totally oh, man. Um, 12. 18. Definitely seems like he's holding something back. Is how much did he say? 35 gold for the stables and the two rooms for four nights. If you do 15, I'll do the rest. I'm sure. Um, Zoom chimes himself in and pulls out the right amount of gold. Aww. Well, I'll pull out an additional five then. I'll pull out an additional five and I'll be like, are you sure you don't know anything else of these mishappenings? Ma'am, I... I'm really supposed to be saying anything about this. My brother is on the force. I mean, I'm not going to tell anyone. I would just prefer to know how safe I am in a city I'm staying. And I'll, right, I'll right. add another gold into my hand. Six gold. Persuasion check. Oh, within the math. That's an actual 17. Persuasion. 22. 23. Because 7. 20, 23. Because yeah. math. Because math. Glances from side to side before he takes the coin, as well as Zoom's uh, coin purse that he set up. Sweeps it away and... Begins uh, putting it to, uh, between this, uh, just between us. Just us. 
Um, apparently, there are a couple of good old, uh, what they call influencers, who have been uh, turning up it. Really brutal stuff, what I hear. You say influencers, what? I mean, you just. <laughs> they, people. They're in charge of different businesses. So, business owners. Various ones, yeah, but they uh, well, own more than some other folk. See, some of them have uh, better input in what we trade in. Specifically, in what you trade in. What we trade in, what we barter for, what we import, export. I mean, we, we've got all of our, our fields left and right, and what we try and do is utilize that for various farming. Regardless of season, some people have influence over certain fields. Regardless of how they do, some people end up cutting a profit. And those particular individuals seem to be turning up dead. And Brutal, like I said. And who, perchance, are replacing these individuals? Replacing, no one. no one. No one's replacing them. These positions have kind of been a grandfathered in, you see. And no one's are necessary. Okay. Do they look like, like, do you know if they're dying like animalistically or be a maybe like a human's doing this to them? <clears throat> well, that's the thing. Um. This was this is for my my brother and my younger sister. That that's her over there, Amy. And gives a wave and this uh, the lovely girl, hair braided off to the side. Actually, um, her is over to her left side. Dark dark brown hair, wearing an apron. She looks to be maybe fourteen or fifteen years old. Uh, still still young adolescent, uh, and he he looks just barely older than her. He gives her a wave. Like, um, evidently, before this has been, you know, when when my parents just come here, or at least we all came here before they went on and uh, found their own fortune. The same thing was happening. Do you know Big to do people ended up disappearing. So I'm in a horrible way. Well, generations. This is before I came along. Brother was still young at the time. My oldest brother. I'm a little boy. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Thing is, they managed to catch him. Got him in the act. Got him in the cell. How do these things okay. keep happening? Baffling everyone. They think they caught who's doing it, or they know. I caught him in the act. But it's I watched this with flame man. Okay, okay. What's his name? Coffee, coffee. The guy who was being flayed. No. No, the the man they caught. Guess Vonner. Real nasty piece of work. Anybody else in the town who's old enough would tell you that he was you know, a great guy. That or snapped, or maybe he was always like that. Helped lure people in, have these massive dinner parties, massive well-to-do things. At least, if I remember what my parents told me. And you're saying that this has been happening for generations, or just years? Yeah, been generations ago. This is when my brother was just just a baby. So just years, okay. Yeah, they had him had him locked up. It's been it's a decade now. But it's still happening. Oh. Started recent, recently. So it's got him also confused. Okay, okay. Caught the guy. Uh, can I get a spelling on that dude's name, Madison? S C I A S Skias Vonner. V as in Victor O N N E R. And he said that he was an outstanding citizen type dude. 
Yeah, he uh, seems to be a, a well-to-do kind of individual. Because I've, I got curious and uh, did a little bit of poking around. Asked some of the uh, elderly folks here. And so you're saying, but it did stop when they caught Abs- it for a little while. Yeah, yeah for years. Well, it recently started it back up within the past six months. Even then, it's not every night. Or no one is going to happen. Which is, uh, see everybody starting to smile again. This one is, one's probably going to happen. Did we see people smiling in the streets? Yes, we did. We saw children Fuck. playing in the streets. Okay. All right. Uh. Here's your room key. You. So he sets it up. You see somebody passing by and going, You're doing a good job. Please don't say anything about this. I won't. Thank you. Right. Right. Um, third, third floor, all the way down the hall. You got the the corner area. Thank you. Sees Jacob and Wyatt. Is like, oh, do you, are you all uh, to all together, or, yes. or y'all need room? It's yes. The, yeah. Two. Yes, it's the, yes. The, the, Jacob looks over. He didn't have to. It's it's burn. Actually, That's Zoom a, covered it. Yeah, Zoom, Zoom actually got it, yeah. Looks over and claps him on the shoulder. It's like, your dinner's on me tonight, friend. Uh, we actually had meals sent to the room. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow, Jacob. <laughs> Make it really hard for me. You know that? Well, you know. This can't be easy. Walk up to the room. Uh, you haven't already put away the horses, have you? He says over his shoulder as he goes. Outside. I don't know. Did I? No, I'm just kidding. No. No. <laughs> They're gone. I'm just kidding. We'll go back out. <laughs> I'll give I'll give Warrior a nice massage because we've been doing all this traveling. It's going to go so far. I'm going to go to the room. Go to the room. Uh, Zoom. Absolutely conflicted. Wyatt just sho- shoves him. He's like, you you go that way. I'll, I'll, whip, I'll go with her. It's a nod and chases after you, Taliban. Oh, oh, yeah. And Jacob. Uh-oh. Just gonna go brush down. I guess, well, I'll, I'll brush down my horse and then uh, Nora's. I guess I'll give Wyatt the other key, because there's two separate... Or did I have... No, did you have them? I had him. I'll give you a key. Yeah, because if I... I guess I'll give you and then Wyatt the other key. Okay. I'll just be keyless. Thanks. No problem. Box. <laughs> Relatively close, you know, three and a half feet or so. Be sure he doesn't crowd you up the stairs. Oh, just push her against a wall. She'll like that. I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> three and a half feet, that's, that's not too close. I mean, that's like my arm. Like one, two, three. Because I'm that's, five that's foot. That's a good distance. It's like a from here to here. I'm five foot. <laughs> I mean, five feet. Did you mean three inches one, away? Two, three, four, five. Like five, three. Okay. Yeah. We'll just go up to the third floor. Yeah, you see various elements of, of topaz hanging off of candles, which are lighting the different halls. Uh, there are windows. Windows that are are open. Okay. Good. Uh, in in the halls. You all. Walk all the way down to the end and open your door. Or as you open yours, you peer in. And you have a corner room, which actually has four windows. It has windows? Happy that it has windows. Goes and looks out the windows. Because we're not trapped underground. <laughs> we're only in air shot. <laughs> How far of a drop is it? No. <laughs> So it's, it's a drop. The third floor. At 20, 20 or so feet, I think. How much damage is that if you fall? 1d6 per 10 feet. That's not bad. So it could be like 12 damage if we had to jump. Maximum. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not bad. That's better than what we What if you like held on? You can reduce the damage by an athletics or acrobatics check. Yeah, exactly. You'd climb on the end of the window and you shimmy down or something. Yeah. Until your boot catches something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the windows open? 
Breeze comes in, you close your eyes, soak in the breeze. That's lovely. Let's get some of the the dragon the, the hooded <laughs> dragon's eye. You just like smell. Oh, yeah, the hooded dragon's eye. <sighs> yeah. Okay. That's all. All right. After you take care of the horses, everybody reconvenes. Uh, you all hear a knock on your door right after you finish up with all of the horses. And they do have a couple of trays, these nice wooden trays that they bring in. You look at the dish and whatever this stocky thing is, it's very lovely. It is like little trees. So curiously, uh -huh. how, many, how many beds are in these rooms? There are two beds. They're full size. Okay. Um, Is Zoom I'll ask for. Stay? I mean, did, did Zoom go into their room or our room? I assume he probably. Right in Gerald's room. room. Yeah, so I'm going to ask for a third bed. Get out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, re I'll request a third bed. Uh, that, that'll be an extra f five gold. That's fine. I'll give him Zoom. Gold. Zoom pulls out the five gold and hands uh, it to him. I got him. it first. Good <laughs> Dexterity. Check. His dex has got to be high as fuck, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. Dexterity saving throw or just a check? Check. Check. What's four plus three? Seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. Beat you by one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> as he snacks your hand up and slips the gold into uh, the, the attendant's hand. His hand is, is currently still on yours. He peers around sassily and looks at you. Next time. Shakes his head. He <laughs> keeps holding your hand. Lowers it. I let's, let's go if you if you tug away. I uh, will eventually tug away and walk towards my wolf and start petting well, him. Once, like, your, once your hands are, are down, he, he lets go. But if you tugged away before then, he... I will wait. I will just... I guess, like, I'll I'll just kind of be like, next time. And then I'll turn, pull my hand away a little bit, and then just kind of look back at him, just be like, and then I'll go play with my puppy Dude, for a little while. Is flirting. No, it doesn't. It's Shut up. It's fine. So does. It reminds me of, like, PETA and Katniss, because, like, PETA was always, Katniss, a soft place. Oh, God. Ball. Stop. Yeah, how cute is that? I'm going to throw up. I Too much it. coffee. I love it. I am sorry. Anyway, from my window, I don't see any places that look like a jail, do I? Hey, hey, make a perception check. Wouldn't that be convenient? I don't see anything. I'm like, breeze. Breeze. Hi. Sorry. It smells of fresh alfalfa. Alfalfa? Okay. It smells like alfalfa? It's been I stick my head out and I'm just like... <sighs> <sighs> Taste it in the air as the breeze blows harder. Oh, yeah. I literally love the smell of alfalfa. The rooms, the rooms themselves are um, very nice. You have only one bedside table, which is unfortunate, but you do have a bathroom. There's no necessarily running water, but there is an area where you can go pump water and bring it into your room. No, we have seven days left to live. You can wait to have your bath. What do you mean? What if I only have seven days left to live and I don't take a bath and I'm at my funeral and I smell like garbage? I don't think we're I'm taking have, a bath. I don't we're care. We're not going to have a funeral if we... Ex that's even worse. DPK. DPK. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out. I'm not going to take a bath in warm water. I'm literally just going... Is there like a basin big enough to fit a body in? Yeah. I'm going to fill can it up with water. Not going to warm it up, and I'm just going to get it and rinse off. And it's cold. It makes fine. everything cold. That's fine. Everything. It's fine. It's good for your everything. joints gonna and sore cold. muscles. It's good for joints and sore muscles. As soon as you get in, you hear, Oh, for fuck's sake. I say out loud as fuck. 
I'll get this. <laughs> Wait a second, hold on. Open door. Is this bathroom just like in the open? There's a divider. That's good enough, don't care. <laughs> still there. Right. I mean, he's not in the bathroom with me unless he just walks in. He's not bold. Cool. He better stay over there. Open the door just to, just like this much. It's Jacob and Wyatt. Mm. It's fine. I don't care. I'm in the bathroom. I'm I don't care. I don't care. A bunch of random sprites I'll never know saw me strip and swim. It's fine. This is true. Are you all going out? Oh, we're to figure out a game plan. Alright. Can we come in? Tell may, may we come in? Tell Let them in. It's fine. Come in. Don't care. It's fine. What on? See, they both peer their head in. Wyatt immediately. Nope. I mean, can they see me from the it's door? A... Damn. <laughs> Don't care. I'm just like in the water, but the water is all the way up to my nose. He hears like, the water. What? He hears you. Like, he hears you splashing in the water. And nope. Presses himself against the door. Puts his hood up. I'll be done in a minute. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna step into the hall with them. <laughs> she insists on being clean. Since Jacob's like, you know what? I'll I'll wait too. <laughs> I I'm I'm gonna go back to the room. I'll be back. He <laughs> goes goes back. <laughs> Damn! Scared him all the way off. <laughs> It's fine. I'm gonna continue cleaning and I don't give a shit. <laughs> not even embarrassed. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, she's not embarrassed about things like that. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Actually, bathe in front of the whole Sprite Village when we were, when we separated from Bumble. Uh, it was fun. Over his head. Like, why? There's nothing secret about it. <laughs> Everyone's got one. <laughs> don't need to show it off. Don't listen to her. I'm, I'm sorry. I know it makes you uncomfortable. It's okay. Thanks. At least I'm not doing it in front of them. Like, it was my own room. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Any thoughts on our game plan? Maybe we can scheme a little bit before everyone else comes. I don't know much about blood contracts and what they do, what they symbolize. If what you're saying is true, we don't have a lot of time. Mm. We need to find some way or reason to have the guards or whoever it is let us in. We need to be able to, from that point, figure out how to get him out there to the streets. And then have all of this go absolutely unnoticed by any guards, other potential inmates, groups of individuals. And based on what that kid was saying, some potential psychomaniac. Who's flaying people? For fun. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I'm definitely yeah. saying Talavin yeah. took a quicker than she wanted to bath. Since everybody had an attitude. About it. That is fine. There are no clean towels. <sighs> she puts on her dirty... No, she doesn't. That's bullshit. <laughs> I will wash my clothes in there with me. <laughs> and then I will, uh, let's see. What can I do? There's a divider. Is there anyone in the room or did Zoom go out of the room? Zoom. Zoom is still in there. I'm just of course, like, all of this happened and just stayed quiet and is just still playing with the pups. Okay, I'm just going to like get out and peek around and I'll be like, Zoom, you want to, there's no towels. You want to give me that bag? Bring me my bag. He looks around and sees your exposed shoulder. Darkens cheeks. Ears darken. Get... 
Throw me a bag. <laughs> Fuck. What? No towels. It's a uh, hotel. It was over. Grab, grabs the bag. Just the whole, just bring the bag. Just the whole thing. It's fine. Fucking shit. This damn place doesn't have no damn towels. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Looks like he's going to tease you with it, but thinks better of it and and walks forward. I will grab it. <laughs> Turn around. I'm far too reach out for it. That scoundrel! God, fuck! I'm gonna take my wet shirt and flop it at his head. I guess make a arranged attack. He's right in front of me. How far away is he? You, you still have to chuck it at him. It's not a hard oh. DC, but you still have to chuck it at him. Do I? What do I add? Uh, your strength modifier plus your proficiency bonus. Actually, no, not your proficiency, just your strength modifier. I'm not proficient in wet shirts. I'm not proficient in wet shirts, Madison. I'm proficient in everything else except wet shirts. He barely manages to dodge before <laughs> catches him in the side of the I head. Grab the head and get back. <laughs> he grabs it. He pulls it off. Eyes closed, but he. I grab the pack and I go. <laughs> I get dressed. God fuck. Keep your eyes closed. Just here. Keep your eyes closed. I'm like, are you okay, Talman? I'm fine. Okay. I will get dressed. <laughs> Is feeling you hear a. <laughs> you can open your eyes now. Tries, tries to find his way around the room with his eyes closed. I will get dressed and I will put my extra thick cloak on and wrap it around me. And I'll be like, <laughs> Everybody's gotta be busting in my damn business, mumbling under my breath, and I'll open the door. Like you can come in now. <laughs> yeah, get in here, you. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you. Turn and go sit on my damn bed. Feeling better? No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Bunch of self conscious you, With your passive perception, you notice that part of Zoom's head is wet. I gotta. You're a bunch of self conscious ninnies. I can't stand any of you. <laughs> Boob. Nora's gonna assume. I don't care. She can assume whatever the fuck she wants. Okay. I'm, I mean, really, like a wet shirt slapping against somebody's body isn't exactly, you know, quiet. But you can assume whatever you want, Nora. Your damn passive perception twenty bullshit. Hey, I wait. I instead of leveling up, I got the lip reading and the perceptions. Oh, I'm not quite mm-hmm. happy with. The I pulled myself out of fifteens and into sixteens. Nice. All right. I go in. Even Wyatt it come it. through within moments. Shut the door. I was laying on my bed with my cloak wrapped around me. Just. It, it didn't have to be done. It's fine. Obviously not fine. You want to get back in? Nope. Sure. I will just stay silent. <laughs> mm. No comment. Why it pulls his arm his arms again? Don't encourage it. Don't know what the fuck's being so bloody embarrassed with everything around me. She's just mumbling shit under her breath. It's fine. Jacob looks okay. Sucked strategy. What exactly are we doing? We need to. Where they're keeping him and get him out. It's as simple as that. I've done it right. before. I'll do it again. It took us weeks to get them out. It just took a week. And I we got like seven days. We work well under a timeline. Did anyone notice um, the, the jail or the um, prison or any place as we were walking through. I was looking, but I didn't see anything. I didn't notice anything. You? Why? shakes his head. No. I, did, I didn't notice anything. Lots of different vendors and lots of 
Smiling people, wary people. They'll split half and half. The kid downstairs said that uh, usually there's another incident when he says people start to smile again. So I might want to be on the lookout for that. Start getting Makes sense. Careless. Exactly. But I mean, as long as we're not out after dark, I think we'd probably be fine. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe we should be out after dark. That guard, you heard the guard. The slow look. I'm sorry, what? You heard I mean, the Technically, guard. that would be an in. I'm gonna go total Tracy Beauregard right now, buddy. He offered to As you. per usual, victim right here. All you have to do. I mean, whatever it takes, I guess. Ask him to escort you. Ask him to show off his working place. Oh, how proud he will be. Dear God, I'm going to boast, throw up. To boast about how powerful he is. How much powerful influence he has. has. Just ask a couple questions. Or I could charm him or any number of things. Yeah, but don't they know when they've been charmed? Yes. Well, then that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Mm. I mean, let's lean away from using magic until we have to. Of course. But if that's a good way in, maybe we can try that. All right. I mean, whatever gets us the fuck out of here as fast as possible in this contract, gone off of our heads, I say, the better. Agreed. I've been thinking about that, actually. And... Who said that? Why or Jacob? Jacob. Okay, sorry. And... Was after I talked with Talel and Jin about it. These blood contract things, you all know about them more than I do. What happens if you deviate from the contract? I mean, as far as I'm aware, it's a timeline thing. If we don't succeed in what we were meant to succeed within that timeline, we just die? Right. What are you proposing? I'm just wondering what happens if you do something that's not in the contract. You adhere to the contract, but don't do what's in the contract. I don't even know if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. If you're looking for a loophole, start throwing ideas out. For example, if we found someone who's who had the exact name, or somehow legally changed their name to... Atar Devil. I need to write it down. Sorry, right. sorry, sorry. Uh, A U. Is, is that right, Madison? Yeah, Atar right. Bravel? <laughs> yes, we found someone whose legal name was. A U T A R E R E V I L. Yes. And Alive gave it. Or handed him over on the day. Right. But these guys are bad guys, right? I mean, they're assassins of an mm. assassin organization. But technically, this guy that we're getting is part of his organization as well. Right. And whether he knows something or not, whatever it is that he is aware of, obviously hurting people. Right. information out of him before we I don't know Wait, what did he just say he said he's is he saying that he thinks this guy's hurting people he, he he had to they want him because they say they say that he is possibly spreading the names of other individuals around okay yeah sure maybe he made some kind of plea bargain but what if that's not the case? What if he's in there for hurting one of their own? Hurting someone in the getting caught by hurting somebody else. I don't know. You think this guy... So they said that he got caught for petty theft. The 
the order. That's what they told us. But you, she was saying, a hard one to get a read on. But you're saying maybe he did something else, and they're trying to bounce him from his life sentence of killing someone. Yeah. Doesn't have any reason to be truthful. Doesn't have any reason to be honest with us. But at the same time, if well, I mean, I guess then if he is being a snitch, then they would want him out. If he's being a snitch, they want him out. If he did something really, really bad, and they're going to off him, do something with him, then they'd want him back because of the information he knows, because of something. They're not going to kill him. They're going to use him for information here. Right. So then, what are you proposing? I mean. We have to get him out. We have to return him to them. But after we complete right. that, there's nothing that says we can't do something with him after. After we've completed our end of the bargain. I was I'm thinking. Is there a way we can flip it around? I, I don't even know if they're not allowed in. Maybe they, maybe they are here. The guy down at the desk works for him. I don't know. I'm feeling a little paranoid right now. But... A great club to be in. I'm Sorry. Paranoid. Just I thinking. I've always assumed everyone's an enemy, so it's fine. That means you're paranoid. Nope, just don't bother me. Right. I'm kidding. I'm just, I'm just trying to think out loud of nothing says how we're supposed to go about doing this. Right. All we have to do is deliver this guy alive and well. Set it up. If we have to, yeah, and then then we fulfilled our bargain. They're obligated to protect us, or give us liberties, or, or take whatever hits we have on us. Yes. Wyatt pipes up. What makes you so sure that this kind of magic isn't going to account for these loopholes? Just because it is written. I mean, it's in the contract. I saw it myself. Do not willingly attack the individuals when of the Levin. When I made my history check, you were specific on what's written in the contract when you were saying it to me. What I know that what's written down, <laughs> what's written down is what matters. That technically, if it's not written and signed, then technically it is doesn't count. Like you know what I mean. Um, based on your history check, because it was over twenty, what I got, I don't, but I don't remember what it was. You can make an intelligence check. I'll keep that in mind for your. Um... Doesn't matter. I'll make an intelligence check. I got a one. Shit. <laughs> Not much better. So close to a twenty. Um, intelligence. Uh, fourteen. 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 Maybe. It does seem like, from what you know, whatever's written in the contract seems to be the 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 binding law. I'm just curious as to what you might be suggesting. Are you suggesting that after we give them to we give him to them, we take him back or kill him or what? What are you suggesting? I'm thinking that an organization of bad people who's going after others for bounty, maybe, yeah, they did something wrong. Excluding you guys. Don't kill me in my sleep. We did something wrong. For a good reason. I don't know. I didn't set that fire. Besides the point. These people aren't good people. I'm just wondering if there's a way, if there's some kind of loophole that would let us nab them while also fulfilling the contract so we don't have to have another one of these maniacs out there spreading information hurting people going after others because someone has a vendetta against them so you're saying that we should go after them after we fulfill this contract because it does say if we it does say in the contract that if we knowingly go after these people that the whole contract is null and void exactly there's got to be a loophole in there. Right? I mean, there yes. could be, but I would definitely be saying we are treading on 
shallow waters with that. Because it could be, is it shallow waters or super deep waters? I don't know. But I'm just saying we would have to be very careful. Because I'm on, cause if we go after them, then the whole thing was for nothing. And we let one of their people go. And we still have the bounties on our head. And we still have them after us. Then we're back where we started. But even worse. Because then there's going to be just another one of them after us. It just says that if we go after them, the knowingly go after about them, that's still technically knowingly going after them. Not necessarily. They said that they're unwelcome in this town due to their activities. So, inform the town that they're nearby. I'm pretty sure she said that this they they, they think that this particular person they have here is leaking particular Ooh, I just choked on my coffee spit a little bit I choked my coffee a little bit um she said that the whoever they have in captive here is is giving out information to this particular group of people right or like the whole organization and she, she said that they would be recognized in town and that's why they couldn't get him out Hang on, say that again. She said that they could not come into this town because whoever it is that's in this town that is is part of their organization was leaking information about them to the town. That's why they couldn't retrieve him. Mm -hmm. But that's not to say that this that this organization isn't bigger than these seven people that we saw. I mean, if they really wanted, they, the only reason why they're using us is because they don't want to waste their own resources. She said that they were more than capable of getting him out. But she said, why would we use our resources when we can use you? That's right, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So whether or not, I mean, I don't understand the two-week timeline or anything. I can't remember if she spoke about that either. She said they need him in two weeks. Yeah, she then didn't say why. why. I don't know. No. She didn't say why, though. No. No, that's probably not for us. We don't even know if that's a deadline or if that's just something to help scare us. History check. Is there anything happening in two weeks? Like a giant calendar event that maybe I would know about. Who knows? Go ahead. Maybe History it's a check. Of the dead. I don't know. 18. History. Plus six. Twenty-four. <laughs> nope. So, nothing going on. Okay, so it's nothing super eventful. A special so event, no calendar event. Nothing annually, nothing. You're not familiar with particular local customs, but according to your own holiday list, there's nothing. No drowvin, drow elven <laughs> Christmas this year. Nope, not during the season. Not during spring. Um, hang on, hang on. With the um, blood contract, the one, the lady, uh, da 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 da, da Damia Keenseeker, she signed the contract too. So mm. technically, would she be the one? Would she die too if we didn't fulfill it? No, she would not. Because that's not part of her part of the bargain. Right, okay. Her part of the bargain is the rest of her life, basically, making sure that people aren't coming after us. Right. Okay. That That's right, isn't it? Mm hmm Okay. It's not like, oh... It's, it's essentially terrible. holding her accountable. Forever. Until she dies. Okay. It didn't say forever, but... I mean, technically, it's I mean, until it's the contract is up, which is when she dies. Because, yeah. Right. So basically we just have to Actually, not outlive her. They wouldn't be able to attack us. Once we return him, once uh, we return uh, Outer Breville, they won't be able to attack us at all. So we could do anything. 
Unless we do something Unless to them. Unless we provoke them. We could easily just take him back. I'm sure if if he has been leaking information, he won't want to be with them willingly. But are we going to fight them to get him back? We don't have to. They can't fight us unless we fight them. I don't think they're just going to let us have him, though. No, but they can't attack us. They can attack him, and they can just kill him. True. But if he's if they're going to kill him, he's obviously going to fight back. But are we going to fight for him if they try to kill him? Because then that would no, be initiating a fight. No, because that's initiating a fight. There are ways to dodge around. You don't always have to attack. You can dodge. I mean, has and that ever worked for me in the past? <laughs> not exactly the dodgiest person you know. Zoom taps on your shoulder. I will link with him. Same cold shudder of you making that telepathic link next with him. Feel that same messaging system that you have to uh, enact. He says, look, I, I like that this idea as much as the next person of, of getting the people who are trying to hurt us, trying to hurt you and, and everyone else, but it sounds tricky. Oh, no, sounds like a lot of tiptoeing. I, I don't like the idea of putting someone out on the streets that that is hurting someone. But that seems like the safest route to make sure that we're all still alive. No, I agree. But I think everyone's trying to think of, obviously, the bigger picture beyond just us. Which I see, but I, yeah. No, I agree. But, I don't know. I don't, I don't have anything better to do. I don't have an idea to get around it. Priority shouldn't be trying to find a loophole out of it. We spend just as much energy as trying to find a loophole to not do the thing we agreed to do. As, as just going out and doing it ourselves. I don't like it. But it, it better guarantees the safety of everyone. Yeah. I mean, it's not like we couldn't... I mean, technically, I guess technically that is initiating a fight with them. I was like, we could just hand them over and then kill them. So I can give him a lie, but then he's technically still part of the group, so technically that would still be initiating a fight. Oh, it's too bad they said he has to be alive. <laughs> we could just kill him and hand over his dead body. It's fine. <sighs> What's Zoom saying? I will tell I will tell everybody what Zoom is saying. Jacob looks over it's like <sighs> Yeah, yeah, we're, we can spend energy on it trying to get away out. I get that. And, and maybe, it's a, maybe it's a bad use of resources. Maybe it's a bad use of time. All I know is more people are going to get hurt. And once we do this, we can't, we can't fight them knowingly. Also, before we hand him over, if they kill him, before we hand him over, then that automatically nulls the contract. Because our lives are done. Oh, his. fuck. If he dies, we can't. Oh, God, yeah. So we have to him keep alive. him alive until we get him to them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, technically, we have to protect the whole thing's null and void as well. Not only do we have to hand over a critter, we have to protect one. That's just fucking great. What time is it? It's, it's later in the evening, probably around 8, 9 or so. The time you all had food and bathed and had conversation, you all have been talking for a while. How about if bathe? Girl, I took a rinse. What are you talking about? I got a little rinse. Shut up. <laughs> you and your bathing. Bro, I like to be clean, okay? Clean. Okay. Um, for now, why don't we get a nice rest and if maybe... Two of us, some of us, try to look into these loophole ideas. And then maybe some of us just tomorrow try to at least figure out who this guy is, where he's at. Maybe try to start forming a plan of getting him out. Because we need to start doing that immediately. 
seven days seems like a long time, but it can go by very quickly. And so we need to plan ahead of that. Do we need to even request, do we need to go ahead and request the extension? It took us almost pretty much a week to get here. I, well, I don't even know how we get in contact. So were they, when we got to the gate, were they still following us? Or did they, they were gone. Okay, I remember you said something, but I couldn't remember. I don't even know how we would ask them. I don't have message. I don't have sending or message or anything to any way of getting in contact with them. I don't think. Do you have anything? Well, maybe the You're coin that walking. she gave us. How the other coins had capability of... I'm going to pull out the coin and cast detect magic on it. As a ritual. There's a, there's a very faint aura to it. Um, but it seems more, more along the lines of protection. Make sure it isn't destroyed. Yeah, I don't think it does that. Okay. I mean, maybe if one of us just goes stands outside the western gate, they'll probably just find us up here out of nowhere. Most Some likely. assassin rogue shit. <sighs> or this could be their way of killing us. If we no! can't give them, I'll give it too. to him and can't find them. They did follow us, so that's probably a good sign. But they obviously want him for something. And obviously there is a deadline. Yeah. But I guess technically there isn't really. I mean, if, they, if they're willing to give us another week, so it's not, maybe not deadline-ish. Maybe they're just, they just want him out of here because he's spilling information they don't want him spilling. Yes, I would say that. I say for now we get an early start tomorrow and go out and start looking for information. Sure. Sure thing. We can, I don't know, get a lay of the town tomorrow, figure out where everything is, maybe talk to some people, maybe somebody knows. If we give a general description of him, they'll know who he is. Maybe figure out what he might have actually done. I'm sure if they're holding him up in a high security place, he wasn't a petty theft. That sounds a little over the top. That's exactly my thinking. I mean, he definitely killed somebody. Like, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> I mean, you don't get maximum security for stealing some coins. Mm -mm. You get that kind of shit for burning people's houses down, apparently. Yes. Yes, you do. Which is what got us in this mess in the first place. We didn't even burn that fucking house. Maybe we could just... Fuck. Nah, yeah, we got the plan, didn't we? Yep. It's fine. Oh, well. We technically just killed a bunch of really bad guards and... Got a bunch of... Yeah, experimental hell, man. <sighs> fucking stupid. <laughs> Never try to help people. That. As soon as you try to help someone, it just spirals. It's like good karma comes back to bite you in the ass. Yes. But just, just think, one day the good karma will all add up and all the bad karma will just fall away. And you'll just be... I'm sorry, this is Sophia being weird. <laughs> She's delusional. It's fine. Too much coffee. This no, is like I my kinda, third cup. I kind of like it being Taliban. <laughs> yeah, Taliban's not as delusional as Sophia yet. Alright. So, first things first. Tomorrow, we'll look for the jail. And try to talk to the guards and get any information we can out of them. Yep. Um, sounds good to me. Question. I just want to be watching um, as the sun goes down, like, gauging about what time it is when it starts to get a little bit dark. Like, when it starts to set the sun and about how much time I have. Between, like, when the sun is setting and when it gets dark outside. Which sun? Fuck. Whichever one when there's no light anymore. I, like, I said their name a hundred times. Yeah, Una and Targaryus. Look, Madison, I can't... Sun. It's the sun. Okay? That's what I know my whole life. 
Right Two sons. Una. And Una. So do you, do you watch Targaryen sink or do you watch Una sink? Which one sinks last? Una. That one. Because I want to know when it gets completely dark outside. About how much time I have between there's light and then no light. Right. Peer out the window and watch Targaryen sink. Beautiful dusky twilight. The painted colors across the sky are enchanting. Almost like a an enhanced prism. These beams, these magnificent streaks of color all across the sky. About 45 or so minutes. And then it's completely dark. It's dark, and all you see are hundreds and thousands and millions of stars above you. Jacob and Wyatt say their good nights, go off to bed. Another cot is brought up. Not as nice, unfortunately. But Zoom seems grateful. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep perception out a little bit as it gets completely dark. Do I see guards at all walking through the streets? Any kind of movement? Perception check for just about like an hour while it's dark. Um, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Two. Yeah, God. Mm. Uh, with your 22, you do notice that the uptick in guards patrolling the streets in the evening does increase. Looking around, you do see a couple of people um, are pushing their carts rather hurriedly. One person uh, a middle, like early, early to middle-aged woman is pulling a hard cart, just trying to get it to go back to wherever she was and wherever she lives. See some of the guards. Em, what are you doing out here? You, you hear just the faintest bit. Oh, I was just trying to get my, my cart back. It got caught and then the wheel started coming off. And I know it's dark and I know it's curfew, but it's like, slow down, man. Those helps fix the wheel and we're going to get you back. It's off. I take note of maybe what she looked like and what those two guards looked like, if I can tell. In the dark, I do have dark vision, and it's technically pretty far. But dark vision lets you see in gradients of gray and I'm just, trying to, like, see, I'm just trying to see their general features. Maybe like if I saw them in the okay. light, I might be able to recognize them. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, but relatively full, full face. Um, Is it just one guard that helps her? It's two guards. Two guards. They're they're all walking in pairs. So one of them approached first. Okay. Probably had to draw straws to see who was going to approach. Damn. Didn't want to help the old lady. Oh, she said she was middle aged. Never mind. Er, um, early, early to middle aged. Okay. I'm just taking note. Yeah, ra ra rounder features, um, smaller nose. From what you can tell, just kind eyes, smaller mouth, and it has a, those cheeks that kind of make her lips lips pudge out just a little bit. Um, did the cart seem empty, full? It seemed empty, but there were remnants of things draped over uh, the edges. Like a cloth. It's squint. Not a cloth. Um, seems wilted. Like plants? <laughs> and both the guards go with her? Head in which direction? Uh, they head... West. Down the western road. Copy. Towards where we entered. Yeah. Just taking notes. Taking notes. And 
and then I will go to sleep. Right. Slip into the veil of unconsciousness. Nora, I assume you're locking the doors. I cast the alarm, and the doors were locked. I figured you would be. That you all <sighs> exhale, feeling not relieved, but the slightest of pressure easing off of your chest now that you are actually here in the city. Awaits you is another story. We want to end here for tonight on this handy dandy. No, clip there? Absolutely not. Boy. <laughs>